if you're looking to replace, install, or fix a generator inlet plug that possibly broke or it's a new one that you're trying to add to your uh, new food truck on this food truck series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Valtieras, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we had an incident the other day where this right here broke on the inside. You guys can see right inside this little um, plug right here. Let me this little plug right here broke off the plastic actually we were able to use it a couple times but i want to replace it now and that's why i always say it's always a good idea to do a couple of these things on your food truck yourself that way if something like this breaks you don't have to hire somebody out and get like a service call or you're just calling a bunch of you know electricians or handyman that that say i can fix it and uh they don't come in a timely manner so it's really nice to be able to do it yourself so i'm going to teach you how to do that and this one, this one is a 30 amp PB30. It's a 30 amp uh, from Reliance, a generator attachment plug. Here's a new one right here. Here's, here's how it looks, power inlet box. So let's get to it, let's get started. The good thing about this, it's, it's, it's not like a house. It's not like a house where you have to like turn off your main power because here, if you don't have your generator running, which is right here for me, or if you don't have a plug, this is what I have that I made that runs to my house. Kind of make, make your own plug type of deal, but it works really well because I only need 120 power. So I don't have to run a uh, separate circuit for it. I can just attach it to my outdoor outlet that I have. Um, if you don't have anything connected to this, there is no power that goes to it. Just know that. So you don't have to worry about getting shocked, electricity or anything like that, because if there's nothing connected to this box, there is no power to your trailer. So let's get started, let's take this apart, and then we're gonna start putting it together and putting the new one on. And thank you for subscribing to the channel. This is almost like a bonus video because this is a real life example of something that can happen to your food truck, uh, especially here because you're always using this as power. So we're gonna unscrew it right here on the, on the screw at the bottom. And you can see the wires that run there. It's literally broken off the plastic right there because it comes in all one piece. So let's open this box up right here. This is, like I said, the Reliance brand, 30 amp. The new ones that I started using on all my food truck builds is a PB50, which is a 50 amp. Um, it's a 50 amp plug, which works really well if you want to use more electric electricity or you have higher usage of equipment, you want to use a 50 amp. And that's what we're doing on our food truck build. So we're gonna take this out. And if I didn't say this already, thanks again for subscribing, for sharing the videos. Hopefully this one is of good use to you because on the electrical, it seems like I get a lot of questions on how to do it. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out the ground wire. So in here you just, this is, <laughs> I bought four of these already because I have one for every, in my car, I have one in my trailer. I have one in the house and then one that I'm using. These are really good. It's a Lennox 9-in-1. And to be honest, when I used to uh, run in attics, when I do electrical work, and I have to carry like three different screwdrivers, this one takes care of all of them at the same time. So it's really nice to have. All right, so we're going to unscrew all the uh, cables right here, being the power that runs to your breaker panel, being the neutral. Boom. There it is, there's a broken piece right there that serves us no purpose right now because it is broken. All right, what we're gonna do here is we just take the face off this right here. We're going to unscrew this. Let's get see if we can get a better video in here. We're gonna unscrew on the ground wire, the top piece right there. Look at that, it's all gone, it's done. So this is the power cable that runs all the way to the panel. It's called a SO cable. And this one is 10 gauge, I believe, that I ran when I did this. And then we're gonna do here, we're gonna take the brand new one right there. It is a brand new 30 amp piece. We're gonna connect it to our ground. So we're gonna just unscrew that piece right there. Put our ground right there. Just gonna tighten it up one thing that you do have to watch out for and I'm actually gonna look I hope 
I hope I can find it, is which one? It was Y, I believe. <laughs> uh, so this, this, if you're using it as a 120 power, uh, you either have to use the Y, the W, you're going to use it for sure because that's your, um, what do you call it, your uh, neutral, so that's the white, and the X. If you're using 240, you're going to use both X and Y, but if you're using 120, you pick one of the other. You pick either the Y or you pick the X because that's what's going to run your 120 and then the G is for the ground. I think it was Y, to be honest. I should have looked and that was my fault. Make sure that you guys look when uh, you guys unscrew it, that you guys take out the right one because that's what you're gonna use on your plug that you connect on here. So it's a 50-50 shot. So when you guys do it, make sure that you guys check it. So we're just gonna insert it into the plug just like that. Tighten this up. And it would be the same kind of install if it was a brand new one or the other one. All right, and we're gonna cook the neck. This one to the white goes to the W, which is white for neutral. You just put it right in the hole like that. Tighten it up. Give it a, that's why this one's nice because if you need a flathead or if you need a Phillips, this one's literally just flip the piece over on here and you're good to go so we tighten that up like that and then we just put it all right back in and then we put the screw at the bottom in what's crazy is if you had to call somebody to do this you know one they'd probably have a minimum charge of the service call they do maybe 200 bucks 250 and if you do it yourself look at that it's already done so let's connect the power that we have and make sure that we connected it to the right one. You should be able to hear a beep. There it is, so I did connect it. So it was the Y that was there. But this plug right here, I made it here at home. Uh, it's just a 30 amp plug, as you can see, just like that. And it's just connected here when I bring the, the trailer back. Boom, that's how, that's how you replace, or you do the same thing when you're installing a brand new one, the same type of wiring. Um, schematic that we did there you hook up one of the cables to an x or the y and you keep the same coordinate on the plug and on the generator plug that goes up to your generator right there and that's how you get your 120 and if you have 240 use x and y so there you go that's how you change replace fix a generator what's the correct word for it power inlet box that goes to your generator Thanks again, Frank Baltieras on the DIY series, How to Build Your Food Truck. This was just a bonus video I wanted to throw in there to show you how I fixed something that I liter literally needed to fix.